for our final week um, in the reader's notebook. We're going to be going over pages 41 through 45. So here we go. On page 41, we're reviewing the sight words was, then, ate, and could. So you know how to do this. You just simply write the one that makes sense. You look at the picture. You boys getting ready to eat. I blank a fig. I was a fig. I then a fig. I ate a fig. I could a fig. Oh, eight makes sense. So write it in there. And then go ahead and cross out the answers. And I'll show you the rest of it looks like, so what it looks like. So if you want to pause the video to check your answers, do it now. Spoiler alert, here comes the answers in three, two, one. So the boy eats it and says, the fig was so good. Mom opens the fridge and says, then here are many, mom said. And the boy is eating them one at a time and says, so I ate what I could. That's page 41. On Tuesday, page 42. So our two uh, alpha friends were reviewing our X-ray man, which makes the sound X, and jumping Jill, which makes the sound J. So for um, X is a little tricky because there aren't many words that begin with X. So we just have, if it has the X sound in it, you write the word. So you um, write a big X and a little X for ox and for ax. And you write a big J and a little J for jar and for jeans. So go ahead and pause it here and you can check your answers in a minute because spoiler alert, I'm gonna go over the answers in three, two, one, zero. So you write a big J and a little J for jam and you write a big X and a little X for box. Then you write a big X and a little X for fox and a big J and a little J for jet. And if ever you're not sure what the words are, parents, they're written right here. So you might look at it and think, oh, it's a plane, but right there mentions that it's a jet. Okay, on Wednesday, we're gonna do page 43. These are words with X and J, and you just have to write in the missing part. So you look at the first one, and what is that a picture of? It ends in A-R, oh, it's a jar. So you write a J in there. And this one, it's a fox, and we have the f and the x. We just need the middle part, ah. What says ah? Oh, yeah, oh. And then we have a girl running, and we have og, O-G. So it must be j j j jog So write a J right there. And then we have an, uh, an axe. So we have the a, the a for a, and we're missing the x. So you write in the x. And that's how you do Wednesday. On Thursday, we have a comprehension chart, story structure of the story, Leo the Late Bloomer, which I'm gonna read in Wednesday's Zoom. But for anyone who doesn't have a chance to do it, I'll go over the basics of it now. It's a story we read once before. So the characters are Leo, his family and friends. The setting is inside and outside his house. And the problem, Leo hasn't bloomed. So the solution, let's see what happens. So in my book here, Leo the Late Bloomer is a story about a tiger who is uh, different from the other animals because he, he can't write and he can't draw like the other animals ha can. And his parents tell him, don't worry, Leo, you're just a late bloomer. And in your own time, you will develop these skills. And then at the climax of the story, then one day in his own good time, Leo bloomed and suddenly he could do all those things. He could read, he could write. So in our story down here, we want to write something like Leo bloomed in his own good time. So let me show you. Actually, I started to write the sentence and then I noticed in the directions, it says that instead of writing a sentence, have the children draw a picture of the solution to Leo's problem. So they can draw a picture of Leo the tiger um, reading or writing or anything like that. So that's just a picture that they draw of Leo being able to read. And that is Thursday. On Friday, our final day, we have the pronouns they, it, and I. 
So I would remind the kids when you're talking about yourself, you say I. When you're talking about an object, you say it, and they means more than one person. So the flower is red. Well, what could we replace the flower with? We would, would we say they is red, it is red, or I is red. It is red because the flower is an object. The children play soccer. If we wanted to replace the children, what would make sense? They play soccer, it plays soccer, or I play soccer. Remember, there's more than one person, so you would say they play soccer. And for uh, number three, Mary can read. So if we replace Mary, what would make sense? They can read, it can read, I can read, because it's only one person, so we would say I. And then for the final one, you can write a sentence using I, they, or it. So you could write, I like apples, or they run fast, or it is blue, whatever you want. That's a free choice. And that concludes our week. Now, of course, they always give us more work than we can do. So what do you do with the rest of the pages? Well, you can throw it out or you can review it throughout the summer. You don't have to do them all. You can pick and choose. You can, um, it's totally up to do what you'd like to do with it. But anyways, that is the end of the instructions for next week.